Hello my maths group. Today hopefully we're going to have a bit of fun going through this learning objective. I can count in twos and spot patterns. Now I've raided my shoe cupboard and my boot cupboard and I've got some shoes and boots out. Should we see how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shoes and boots there. Now is there a quicker way we could count them? Well, they come in a pair, don't they, shoes? So there's two in a pair, so we could count in our twos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I've also raided my sock drawer. How many do you think there are there, socks all together? Should we count in our twos again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 12. So we call it skip counting. When we don't count every single number, we skip some. So we can skip the first number in each pair because we know that there's two there. So we can just go 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Now I also found some paper clips that needed counting. So I put them into twos because I find it easier to count them. And do you know what it reminded me of? Being on a school trip and getting you into pairs so that we can count you easily and quickly. That's why we do it. So should we count the paper clips? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Now if we have a look at counting in twos on a number line, let's see what we notice. Should we do it? 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Should we go backwards? 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. I want you to try that without the number line going down. It's a bit more tricky than going up. What do you notice? Well, yeah, they're even numbers. When we go up in twos, no matter how high we go, always the numbers are even. So what I want you to do on your to-do is to go around your house and see what you can put into pairs and count them and then draw little pictures of them on your to-do. Okay, enjoy!